Hello everyone, my name is Halvi. In this video, I'll be explaining the lore behind the bosses in Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. So this first boss is the boss of the prologue. He is the unnamed Graw Captain and is the last obstacle standing between Marth's army and their successful escape. He is supposed to stall Marth long enough for Graw's main force to show up. However, the captain would rather finish off Marth and steal all the glory for himself. These next three bosses are all bandits. Kazak leads the Galder pirates. He leads them from Galder Harbor to invade Talas Castle. Gomer leads a band of pirates occupying Galder Harbor. Hyman is the leader of a bandit group called the Samsooth Sires of the Gold's Teeth. These bandits were known for their terrible acts of plunder, kidnapping, and arson. Bentheon leads a group of deserters from Aurelis. He tries to prevent Marth from joining up with Hardin. These next two bosses are from Macedon. Murek is a knight ordered to guard Aurelis castle by Minerva and to prevent Marth from meeting the king of Aurelis. Emerus is a general leading the invasion of Aurelis. When Marth enters the castle, Emerus orders his soldiers to prevent Marth from reaching the throne room and orders thieves to steal the treasures as he makes preparations to withdraw. Bathys is a leader of a pirate group attacking and pillaging a village in western Aurelis. They also kidnap some children. These next two bosses are from Grust. Harmine is a general guarding the left Candith Valley. He disagrees with Minerva on how to go about fighting the Arcanean League. He reminds Minerva that her sister Maria is being held hostage, forcing her to obey. Cannival is a knight who leads an assault on the town of Port Warren as Marth and the Arcanean League are resting there. Manu is a Manichaeite of the Fire Clan and the King of Pyrathi. The Kingdom of Pyrathi seldom made contact with the outside world, so he is furious when he hears of Marth's unexpected visit. Zarov is a Grustian general in charge of keeping Maria hostage in Castle Deal. He uses her to blackmail Minerva into allying Macedon with Grust. These next three bosses are all from Dolor. Kozen is a Manichaeite of the Fire Clan who leads a group of Grustian soldiers into Norda Market to prevent Marth from reaching the Arcanean capital. Volzin is a bishop who occupies the palace of Arcanea. He holds five of Princess Nina's retainers prisoner. De Janeira is a paladin leading a group of soldiers attacking western Arcanea. He blackmails Horus into betraying Arcanea and siding with Dolor. Grigus is a Grustian ballistician who leads an artillery regiment known as the Wooden Cavalry at Fort Medidi. Jewel is the King of Gra, and in the very beginning of the war, he was persuaded by Garneth to betray Altea. He launched an attack and caught Altea's army off guard, leading to the death of Marth's father, King Cornelius. He continued his attack on Altea Castle in the pursuit of Marth. When Marth was backed into a corner of a locked fort with no way out, Maladus suggests to send out a decoy to sacrifice themselves to lead Jewel away. The plan works, and Marth is able to escape. Years later, Marth invades Gra and Joel starts to panic, knowing that his end is near. Holstat is a Grustian general who guards Altea's castle gates. He is a former subordinate of Camus and is tasked with preventing Marth and the Arcanean League from approaching Altea Castle. Morzis is a Dolurian Manichaeite of the Mage Clan, occupying the throne in Altea Castle, a position given to him by Medius. He is the killer of Marth's mother Liza, and would have also killed Marth's sister Elis, if not for Garneth having a use for her. These next two bosses are both from Grust. Dactyl is a general leading some forces in Helena Castle in Altea's north. Marth was seeking to take their gold and provisions. Dactyl uses an important ring to blackmail Etzel into fighting against Marth. Sternlin is a paladin from Grust and a member of the Sable Order. He leads the Sable Order in a battle against the Arcanean League at the Chasmere Bridge, trying to prevent Marth from entering the Fane of Ramen. 
Tiki is of the Divine Dragon Clan and the daughter of Naga. Tiki was put to sleep in the Ice Dragon Temple by Naga to prevent her from suffering the inevitable degeneration that happens to all other dragons. And Goto was entrusted to protect Tiki during her sleep. Then at some point Bantu came to the Ice Temple and felt pity for Tiki and awakened her from her sleep and took her into his own care. The two traveled over much of the continent until they were separated and Tiki Tiki was abducted by Garna. She was taken to the Fane of Ramen and hypnotized by Garna into guarding the Fane from intruders. Camus is a knight of Grust and leads the Sable Order. When the war started, Grust King Ludwig quickly joined with Dolor. Camus disagreed with this, but as a knight he felt he had no right to question his king. He aided in the downfall of the Kingdom of Arcanea, and it was here that he met Nina and had it arranged that he would take custody over Nina and the capital as the leader of the occupation army. He did this for two years in which him and Nina spent a lot of time together Together and developed feelings for each other. Then Medius wanted to have Nina executed and sends an army to the capital. Wanting to save Nina, Camus, and three of his subordinates deserted the Grust army and escort her to find refuge with Hardin in Aurelis. He ensures her escape to Aurelis but is captured. He is tortured and imprisoned in Dolor as he has caused Medius much trouble. Then near the end of the war, Camus is released and reinstated to lead Grust's army. As Marth approaches, Camus defends the realm alongside his fellow general Lawrence. Despite Marth and Nina's pleas to stand down, Camus refuses to betray his king's orders. Larissa leads a band of remnant Grustian and Dolorian soldiers in the eastern mountains of Grust. He takes the residence of a nearby village hostage, hoping it would keep Marth from attacking. Oridion is a Macedonian paladin and leader of a dragoon squadron. He tries to prevent Marth and the Arcanean League from reaching King Michaelis. Michaelis is the king of Macedon and the elder brother of Minerva and Maria. He had a huge lust for power, and prior to the war, he was convinced by Garnef to kill his own father, Osmond, to become king. Then, against Minerva's adamant opposition, he allied with the Dolor Empire. He handed over Maria to Dolor as a hostage to ensure Minerva doesn't betray him. This fails, however, as Marth is able to rescue Maria, and Minerva quickly allies with Marth. Even Goto warns Michaelis that his actions are destroying both his family and his country. Michaelis refuses to back down and faces Marth in battle. Garnef is a powerful sorcerer, the ruler of Kadeen, and is known as the Dark Pontifex. He was once a student of Goto alongside Miloa. They both studied under Goto in the city of Kadeen and were incredibly talented. Garnef originally was a man of justice and good intentions. However, he lacked compassion and love. Goto noticed this and decided to appoint Miloa as the new Pontifex of Kadeen. Upon hearing this, Garnef was consumed by jealousy and as an act of vengeance, he stole the Dark Spear and ran away. Using the Dark Spear, he forged the Imhulu Tome, but during this process, his soul was sealed within the Dark Spear itself, trapped for all eternity. From then on, all he wanted was to rule the world, unleashing despair and vengeance upon humanity and bring the world to ruin. He first revived Medius and forged an alliance with him. Then, with their combined might, they brought ruin to countless kingdoms, starting with the Holy Kingdom of Arcanea. Garnef then murdered Maloa and seized control of Kadeen. He also hypnotized Tiki and had her defend the Light Sphere and the Star Sphere inside the Fane of Ramen to prevent Starlight from being forged, as Starlight is the only attack that can pierce Imhulu's defenses. Garnef likes to work in the shadows, manipulating people and bending them to his will. Jewel was convinced by Garnef to betray Altea and ally with Dolor, he abducted the twin prince and princess Ubello and Yulia of Grust and imprisoned them in a pitch black room in Kadeen, using them to blackmail King Ludwig into allying Grust with Dolor. Following Altea's defeat at the hands of Gra, Garnef took Falchion to keep it from being used against Medius, and he abducted Ellis and took her to Thabes, where he was planning to use her to use the Alm Staff. After Marth had defeated both Grust and Macedon, his army is war to Thabes by Goto to defeat Garnef, retrieve Falchion, and rescue Ellis. 
Zemso is a Dolurian Manakeet of the Mage Clan. He leads a band of humans and Manakeets alike and is tasked with keeping Marth out of Dolur Keep and away from Medius at all costs. He has an intense hatred of humans. Medius is the Earth Dragon King and the first and only ruler of the Dolor Empire. Known and feared across Arcanea as the Shadow Dragon, centuries ago when the Dragon Kin were experiencing their degeneration, Medius was the only Earth Dragon willing to seal his power into a Dragon Stone and become a Manakeet, thus escaping degeneration. The other Earth Dragons refused the idea and eventually devolved into wild beasts which pose as a threat to the human Human race. The wild earth dragons and the divine dragons fought in a great war, resulting in the earth dragons being sealed beneath the dragon's table. Medius was entrusted by Naga to guard the altar and its seal. Centuries later, humans became the dominant species of Arcanea, and as they rose to power, they frequently abused and mistreated the remaining Manakeets. Medius was forced to watch these atrocities from his post at the dragon's table. Filled with rage and fury, he united the Manakeets into the new nation of the Dolor Empire and declared war on Arcanea. He ordered an assault on the Arcanean capital and killed all members of the royal family, except Princess Artemis, who was able to evade captivity, though soon the entire world fell under Medius' control. Then a man named Henri appeared, wielding falchion. Henri killed Medius and brought peace back to the world. Then nearly a century later, Medius was revived by Garnet. His revival was incomplete, however, as he could only maintain his earth dragon form and powers inside the walls of Dolor Keep. He resumed his world conquest, this time with some human nations as allies, and just like in the previous war, he ordered an assault on the Arcanean capital and the extermination of the royal family. However, once again, one member, Princess Nina, was able to escape Medius's clutches. Marth fights Medius in the final battle with Dolor Keep. Medius truly believed that the war wars he started were just and that the humans deserved the painful deaths he gave them. So with all that said, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.